Ooh. Ooh, it's burning to our legs. Oh no. Oh, it was in the camera obscura. Musty film. The Dream Mansion. Beyond the door, the shrine carpet is boarded up. Was beyond the door, the shrine carpet is boarded up. Was the small shrine I saw in my daydream. Did that door seal the shrine? Is that where the ceremony was carried out? Could it really be just like my vision? A place to meet the dead? Is you really in there somewhere? I guess I'll find out. I'm coming. Telephone. Telephone. Yes, Kurosawa speaking. Miku? Well, that happened again. Let me <laughs> Well, it's fun again. Hello? Uh, this is Amakura. It's okay. There's more. You can still hear her screaming in the background, let me out. Thought she'd do it again. Ah. Uh, did you have that dream again today? Yes. I see. <laughs> I think we should go check out that abandoned house one more time. We might be able to find something out. I'll look over the local legends and stories and bring what I have with me. Just what happened in that manor? Books describe it as an engraving shrine. Somebody just whispered in my ear. As in my right ear. I'm gonna have to look at that. There you go again, let me out. Maybe if we combine the information we have, something might come to light. Yes, well... <laughs> well, Kay is coming. That teacup moved. That was weird. Okie dokie then. Looks like we're gonna have some creepy stuff going on. Let's see what Ray's house has in store for us today. Or tonight. There's blood on my mirror. Oh, hello. Needlewoman. Okay. That's not weird. That's not weird. It's totally normal. Hey, kitty. Is there anything else in this closet? We had that film before. Nope. Ew. Okay, let's go develop the film. Okay. 
this one. Hey lady. An image has appeared of a woman hiding in a closet. It looks like the crawling woman. I wonder if I can find anything out anything from this photo. The closet woman. The no. The hell. No the film. Uh, there's an arm on one side, like that woman was crawling up, and there's blood on the altar. That's freaky. This looks like the pedestal with the rope winding device Miku saw in her dream. What could it possibly be used for? Bloodstained platform. You don't want to know what that thing was used for. It was not good. None of it was. Open the door. Spooky stuff. Let's go talk to Miku. Cause she might have some things for us. But we know for a fact we have things for her. Oh Miku. Miku. You don't have anything to say? Ray? Here. Thanks. <laughs> Here you go, Ray. Could this be the identity of that little girl? A little girl. People go missing in Minakami. Oh! The picture of Mio and Mayu. By last month, two people had gone missing in the Minakami Dam area. Now yet another case has been reported. The police have been called in. The missing people are Tokyo residents Shizu Amakura, age 35, and her eldest daughter, Mayu, 15. Wow. On summer vacation, Mayu visited the village near the dam with her sister, Mio, 15. The two went missing one week earlier, but recently Mio was found alone, collapsed in the forest. Collapsed in the middle of the forest. Mio was taken to the hospital, and though there was nothing wrong with her physically, due to extreme fatigue, she is not in any condition to talk. The police are waiting for her to recover before questioning, before questioning her. Hmm. So, their mother is missing. And so is Mayu. It was published two months ago by... But her name is Amakura. So, could she be Kai's... Um, Kay's? Thanks, I'll hold on to it for a bit. It says she just disappeared. Kay must be really worried. Yeah. He is. Oh, I'm sorry. I blanked out for a second. Okay. It's raining again. Okay, here's the thing. I have not pressed X this entire time. Except when during those dialogue, like the text. I press X through that. But every time she keeps, like, the, all the time she has, like, talked to me and then said, you know, it's raining again, I didn't press anything. She did that on her own. That's really creepy. Mio Amakura. The girl who appeared in Kay's dream. She is his niece, Mio. She's been taken prisoner by sleep, too. She kept talking about her sister. Was she looking for her sister when she was lured into the house? Yep. Alright. Ray? What's the matter? First off, there was a lady in my mirror, Miku. But for now, I would like for you to research this photograph for me. This lady in the closet. <laughs> Thanks for all your trouble. I see, but... Ray... I'm a little nervous. She said she was nervous. Oh, I'm sorry. I blanked out for a second. <laughs> she said she was nervous researching that photograph, probably because she recognizes the lady in it. <laughs> it's pain that fucking crawling woman. Or all this stuff is starting to get to her. There. 
There is a notebook that says the manner of sleep in the drawer. Perhaps it could be useful for something. Oh, God. The manner of sleep urban legend. The manner of sleep is an urban legend that was whispered among those in psychiatry about hospitalized patients suddenly disappearing. There are several stages to it, and it progresses like a sickness. 1. Having the same dream. The patients who later go missing first see the same dream every day, usually about dead lovers or family. 2. Dreaming of the manor. Next, the patients dream about wandering into a large manor. It is a huge, snowy, Japanese-style house. It is laid out haphazardly, as though, some, as though many extensions were added. Then, deep in the manor, one discovers their dearly departed. 3. Proceeding deeper into the manor. Patients follow the dead deeper into the manor. Some pa most patients find the same scenes and phenomena along the way. For example, hearing a lullaby, seeing a mass funeral march, or being pursued by a tattooed woman. 4. Hallucinations while awake. At this stage, the patient complains about abnormalities of the body while awake. The symptoms are common to all patients, and when they awake, they feel a sharp pain and see a growing bruise or snake-like tattoo. 5. Decrease in waking hours. At this stage, the patient's response to external stimulation grows weaker. The time spent in sleep also slowly increases. From a medical viewpoint, this is a defensive reaction to pain. So if the patients are actually in pain, it is a normal response. 6. Missing, vanishing. Then, one to two months after the first stage, the patient goes, quote-unquote, missing. Missing is the official term. It is said that the patient actually vanishes, leaving only a black soot-like mark. The above mentioned is the original manner of sleep urban legend, but the popular legend is more story-like and includes the following elements. 1. Strong feelings for the dead summon the first nightmare. 2. You follow the, de the deceased in the dream and you can no longer return. 3. If the sleeping person dreams of a lover or friend, it will beckon that person into sleep. The manner of sleep disease spreads thusly. 4. Deep in the manner of sleep is the wor world of the dead, and if you make it, you can meet the deceased there. Cool beans. If you pursue the dead, you will not be able to return. Even if I knew that, I... Something else here? Okay. The words the rope priestess can be found among the folklore-related books. Perhaps it has something to do with the woman bound by rope in Miku's dreams. In my visit to the Himuro area and the five pedestal shrine that protects the five deity mirror, I was able to per peruse fascinating old texts about the Himuro area legend about the gates to the underworld. From these texts, it is it was clear the apocalypto gates of the underworld ceremony I don't know, was held in this area. Following is vocabulary I garnered through my research this this time. Ceremony of the ropes. The ceremony of the ropes is held to close the gates, i.e. the gates of the underworld, and use a special rope, the laceration rope, is used. The laceration rope. A special rope used to close the gates. It was also written that it is used to stay the priestess's power. The rope priestess. In a certain document, there is a diagram of a female with arms, legs, and neck bound by rope. Perhaps she is the rope priestess, and the five robes are the laceration rope. The strangling ritual. Bind the priestess with ropes. Pull them to the five gods. Create thereby the laceration rope to perform the rite. Here the five gods may signify the directions of the five shrines on which the humoral mansion is centered. Pulling the rope that binds the priestess in the five directions must create the laceration rope. If the rope binding the priestess is truly used as a laceration rope, is the rope priestess then a sort of human sacrifice? I hope to visit the Himuro mansion in the near future and unravel the tale of the gates of the underworld as well as that of the rope priestess. Let's check this out. The Himuro mansion. The house in Miku's dream was different from mine. In a folklore book in used room, I found an article about the room that came in, came out on the photo. 
the Himuro Mansion, according to the folklore's name Ryozo Munakata. Yay! More stuff we know. The, a ritual took place there to seal the gates of the underworld, using for shrine maidens called Rope Priestess. Hmm. I think I can get a photo now. Yeah, no. I'm pretty sure there's like a hidden photo you can get up here, but I guess I'm wrong. Well, that is all for that. Now let's head back to the room. Nothing scary. Okay. Well, we are going to end it there. Um, because I know we're going to go into another hour. It'll be hour ten. And that has two side quests. And then that will be all the side quests for this game. And I have to redo the mother and daughter one for you guys. Um, we're going to save and we're going to end it this time. I'm not going to be stupid and continue. Oh, or will I? No, I don't have time. I only have 30 more minutes. Not enough time. Okay. So. That was hour nine of Fatal Frame 3. Um, I hopefully will be able to see you guys this week for Resident Evil 4 as well as Innocent Life. Maybe, maybe even some DC Universe Online. I don't know. Depends on how fast with me not having any school, how fast I can get this stuff edited and off the computer so that I can record more. But there you go, that was more Fatal Frame 3. I hope you enjoyed this session full of side quests galore. And I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Blessed be.